Hello boys and girls, it's me, Pastor Andy, here with another children's chat. And today I want to talk to you about a very specific person named John the Baptist. If you just watched church, you heard me talk about John the Baptist there too. Now John the Baptist was a very, very important person, but he was kind of strange. Did you know that he ate some things that are really weird? For example, John would eat locusts. Do you know what locusts are? They're kind of like a grasshopper. They're a bug. Would you eat a grasshopper? I don't think so. I don't think they would taste very good to you. But John would eat grasshoppers or locusts. And he would also eat something that I really like to eat, which is honey. Honey is delicious. It tastes all sugary and sweet, and that's really good. But John the Baptist did more than eat weird things. He was very important because he came right before Jesus came, and he prepared people for Jesus' coming. And so one of the things that John the Baptist told people to do was to repent. That's maybe a word that you haven't heard before. Repent is a word that means to turn around. So, for example, if you are going on a walk with your family, but then you realize you made a wrong turn, well, then you've got to turn around and go back and get back on the right path. Or maybe if you're driving and you're on a road trip, and then you see there's a restaurant that you want to go to, you want to go get some drive-in maybe at McDonald's or something, but you miss the turn, well, then you've got to turn around and go back. You've got to turn around if you miss the turn. Repent is sort of like that for our whole lives. Sometimes we do bad things. I know I do, and I'm guessing you do too. Maybe we don't listen to our parents. Maybe we hurt someone like our brothers or sisters or maybe our friends. Maybe we take their toys away. Maybe we don't do our homework when we're supposed to. When we do things we're not supposed to do, that's called sin. And any time we realize that we've sinned, we need to repent. We need to turn around and go back the other way. We need to say what we've done wrong and receive forgiveness. And how do you think we receive forgiveness when we repent? Let's see. I bet it has something to do with Jesus. You see, when Jesus comes into our world, he takes away all of our sin. That's actually one of the things that John the Baptist tells us. He points to Jesus and says, Behold, the one who will take away the sins of the world. That's what Jesus does for us. And that's what John the Baptist points us to, Jesus. So remember, when you do things that aren't right, when you do things that are sin, you need to turn around, you need to repent, but you can always look to Jesus because Jesus will always forgive you no matter what you've done wrong, no matter how many times you've had to turn around and repent, Jesus will always be there to forgive you every time, okay? Why don't you fold your hands with me and repeat after me as we talk to Jesus. Dear Jesus, Thank you for coming to earth to forgive my sins. Amen. Thanks for joining me. Hope you guys have a wonderful week. Take care.